Hello there and welcome to Dukascopy TV. Today we'll be looking at curve fitting, chances and risks in automatic trading strategies. Joining me to look into this further is information technologist with Stash GmbH, Bernard Schicht. Welcome Bernard. Hi Sinead. So first of all, what is curve fitting? Curve fitting in automatic trading system systems is a is a, yeah, a bad thing actually. Um, you Write, write a program, you write, you put in parameters and you test it in, in the history and you also test it in forward test in trading of course. And uh, so after a while you see oh it's not working and it's not so good so um, you repeat your test in the past and then you see okay let's put in different parameters and optimize it. So if you see the chart how it moves up down and the price moves um, you can you can put in parameters so you just buy there and sell there and buy there and so on and you get a high profit but it's just in the past that's no profit you you're making now it, that is past profit based on a on a specific way of, of the chart of the price movement so um, in this manners um, you could uh, lose some money if you just run it forwardly. So you have to be careful. You do have to be careful. So can it be avoided? So what are the risks? Want to test um, your system in the past because it's faster, especially with JForex. You can use uh, the historical tester. It runs your system in a very short time. You can run like a year in a couple of hours and then you see how it performed. Nobody wants to wait for a year running in forward test because then you don't know now what will happen in the future. So if you run it for forward test and after a year, then you see, oh, it's not working, then you change it, you wait another year, no, this doesn't work. Um, so that's the risk, as I said before, that you overfit it and then you think, oh, it's great, now I run it forward test and you run it with live money and then you lose. Um, following in kind of these kind of lines, how do you know if a trading system goes into an overfitted situation? Um, the thing is, it's, it's not so very easy to see because um, what you do normally on, on, the, on the market, on the price movement, is you, you try to find little gaps, little behaviors, if you think the market is not random, and it should be not, it should be... It's, it's made by people, by human beings, also by computers, that's clear, but um, they were programmed by humans. So there's always feeling in it, there's always uh, there's some weaknesses in it. So you have to find these weaknesses and then, then you, can, you can run it um, with your trading system. And the only way is to find it uh, easily is by a historical tester. So after you, you did that, um, you put this in, in your forward test, normally on demo, because you want to you want to prove the concept, is it working or not, and then you run it. And um, after this is working, then after testing several times, you can take it on live, because before you go with live money, be very aware of this. Of course, it's always important to be aware. It's been great to have you here, Bernard. Thank you, Sinead. It was a pleasure to be here. Well, that's all from Bernard and myself for now. Thanks for tuning in and remember to keep clicking back. Bye for now.